What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I will be sharing with you my 12 week lock update with my braid locks. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so I'm 12 weeks into my braid lock journey and I can honestly say that I didn't think that I would have anything else to share with you guys at this particular point in my journey. But I do indeed have something I wanted to talk about and that is dry locks. Now I have been a part of um, you know certain groups on Facebook, lock group in particular, and I have heard a lot of people you know raise their concerns about experiencing dry locks and itching scalp. And I've always said this to myself like well if you are maintaining a moisturizing routine and also you know having a regular wash day schedule you wouldn't really experience this but there are so many people out there who you know believe that you should not um, moisturize your locks you should not use any products on your locks and all of these things and I thought what this is why you're having the problem that you're having because like um within my first well i can't really give those um my first two lock journeys as an example because i was personally dealing with scalp issues that i didn't really understand what was going on with me so as you guys would know as well that i did end my second lock journey because of the scalp problems but ever since i have you know dealt with this issue and i haven't really been experiencing a dry flaky itching scalp i can say that since i've started my third lock journey i have not had that issue with dry flaking itching scalp but i have been dealing with dry itchy scalp in between weeks 10 to this point and you know why because i decided to follow my theory and just say all right i am not going to moisturize i'm not going to do any of my regular routine and see how my hair feels so i somehow drum up some way to give you guys content for week 12. <laughs> So what I have done is um, during, well, since my last wash day, I haven't washed my hair. Yes, I haven't washed my hair. And I haven't done any of my usual um, moisturizing routine or hair maintenance throughout the two weeks. Yes. And what I'm telling you, my scalp, my scalp is so itchy. My scalp is so dry. It looks so white. Um, I am hoping to show you what it looks like and I hope the camera picks it up because I know sometimes the camera don't pick up certain things but I'm going to show you. And this is going to my point that if you are not moisturizing your scalp or your locks, you are going to experience dryness. Dry, itching scalp as well as dry starter locks or locks because I'm telling you, in the two weeks where I did not moisturize or wash my hair, my scalp has been so itchy, my hair feels so dry and I don't like how it looks. Cause I'm like, what the heck is going on here? Like it feels like crunchy and stuff, not like crazy crunchy, but in comparison to how my hair usually feel after I do a wash, after I have my wash day or when I do my moisturizing routine, I don't usually feel, my hair don't usually feel like this. So it goes to the point of, dry itching scalp can 
derive from not moisturizing your hair, not oiling your scalp. So it's like to me, it's, it's so baffling to me when people are like, oh, my locks, my scalp, it's itchy. How, what do you, can you do to stop it now? I also am aware that you can experience itching scalp after installation because when I shared with you guys my son's um, braid lock journey when I was starting it, so it was basically just the installation and someone was asking for like an update. So I did an update and I shared with you guys that my son ended his braid lock journey because he was like, hey, this is itchy and I don't wanna take it out. I wanna wash my hair and all of these things. Now, in instances like that, that is possible. Now with my son, um, his hair I think was about three inches long when I started it. So when I was installing the braids, I would have had to do it a little bit tighter than if I was to install um, braids on myself. And that is because with braids, um, with the hair being so short, you wanna make sure you keep everything in. So sometimes when you're doing hair a little bit tight, it can have that itching feeling because you're pulling at your um, your hair strands and it's quite tight. And you know that feeling of like something is stretching and you just like, you wanna, for example, like when, well, any ladies who have probably experienced this, like during pregnancy, when your stomach is stretching, you wanna like, you know, scratch it. It's like, oh my God, this feels so itchy. So I'm gonna uh, scratch it. So it's just like that with your head it's like it's being pulled so it's being stretched from the hair and the the scalp so it's like being pulled apart so it will feel a little bit itchy or a lot itchy depending on how tight your hair is right so in instances like that i can understand that but for when people who are along their lock journey and they're like oh itching scalp dry locks uh, 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 what can i do what can i do because i still even have people asking me oh do you use oil to mo um when you um retwist or do you use oil in your moisturizing routine you should not do that because it's going to do xyz to your your locks and i'm just like that's not true that is not true. Build up and all of those things, anything negative to your locks come down to how you are maintaining your locks. If you're not having a regular routine where you're going through your hair and taking out um, lint or any debris, then those things can embed themselves because even with loose naturals, you have, um, you know, environmental particles that attach themselves to your hair and even when you wash your hair moisturize your hair and all of that and you wear ponytail or whatever for too long like say or even braids like extension braids you will notice that there is buildup at the the um the bit where it connects so it's all about maintenance it's all about maintenance it's not necessarily the product yes product can attract things to your hair but if you are not staying on top of keeping it clean then you will have buildup so don't think oh i don't want to do my moisturizing or i don't want to moisturize my hair i don't want to use any products or heavy products and all of these things that people talk about on my locks because it's going to cause buildup no what's going to happen is you're going to sit there and complain about your locks being dry and your scalp being dry and like i says during my 10th to 12th week of my braylock journey, I subjected myself to not washing my scalp and I'm not gonna lie, my hair, I really wanna wash it so bad, so, so bad. And I'm telling you, after this is over, <laughs> I am going to enjoy a wash day. Now, outside of, you know, dry itching scalp or dry locks, um, what can I say? What else can I say I've learned along this braid lock journey? Oh, yes. Another thing I can say I have learned along this braid lock journey, and I'm also happy that it's coming to an end, is that I don't think braid locks is the the lock journey I would like, the lock method I would like to continue my lock journey with because I find that it is so much harder to get buildup out from um, the root. Now, that could be because I did the interlocking as I've shared with you guys in my last update, how the interlocking kind of just made things a little bit difficult when it comes to um, right here like the top when it comes to retwisting but at the same time at the back 
I don't have that problem but what I am noticing especially up top here is that um, the buildup when it's in my the root right here let's see if I can show you so there's buildup right here right there's buildup so with the buildup at the in the um the root i don't know how to describe it. it's like yeah kind of like at the root right here it's it's like it's so just embedded not embedded it's like it's it's just a little bit stuck <laughs> but with my two strand twist because like i says you know when it comes time to wash days and because i am just twisting or palm rolling when it comes time to wash your hair it will easily unravel like you know the root will just unravel and you can get in there and get out anything but with the root being interlocked and things are like going in like the the formation of the your hair strands is more going inside inside and when you wash your hair it don't feel like there is much unraveling that's occurred at the root so it's like when you, when i'm trying to get the build up out i have to literally be like this for ages like doing that for ages just to get any products or environmental buildup or whatever that gets into my roots but like i says when you palm roll once you unwrap it's like because it's twisted you only have to do is just untwist that little bit and it's easy to get whatever out but with this because it's all going inwards it's like i can't undo that section to get it out if you i hope you understand what i'm trying to say but it's it's really good and I've been on my lock journey for 12 weeks now and I feel like um, like lately I've been noticing I'm like whoa this 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 is too much you know so I'm like I'm actually quite happy that I've come to the end of it because now I can undo it and get the build up from out of my um, root in a sense not necessarily the root root here but more like where the interlocking was done so I'm just like mm -mm. so I don't know um I may I may <laughs> do another lock journey but um with instant locks and I may do it for a little bit longer than three months um or 12 weeks same time frame just to really see how that lock journey would you know if someone is on a an instant lock journey how that differs from braid locks as well as instant locks so i may do that and document that journey and if you guys and if you guys are interested in seeing that definitely let me know in the comments below so aside from that that's all the update that i have for this week um man i, I <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little bit like, oh, I can't believe I'm gonna end it. But I am more so ending it because of the buildup like in the root and I just don't like how, you know, my roots feel after interlocking as I've shared with you guys in my last um, update. I just don't like it because I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking to myself like, girl, you've come three months why not just continue like you like your hair it's so much easier to just get up and go why not just stay with it but then i'm like you know if i wasn't um not if i wasn't experiencing these bits that i'm experiencing right here and just the build up being embedded because i just don't like build up i i really don't like that would just bug me so if i wasn't experiencing those i would have definitely continued because i literally was sitting there in my room one day and i'm like girl you know you like your hair like this why not just continue <laughs> but like i says um it's just the roots and the the that that feeling right here i'm, I'm telling you it's week 12 and I'm still feeling that yes there's more growth from the um, the last time but I don't feel comfortable um me tiny because I just don't like that boofy feeling right there so 
yeah okay so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did definitely go ahead and check the cards listed above as well as in the description bar below for similar videos like this one and also please make sure to give me a big massive thumbs up and drop a comment and share my content if you found it very helpful so until next time i will be right back here with another video